Hey guys, Becky here with Design Bundles and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a really awesome sublimation project for you. Guys, we are testing out our very own Cricut Mug Press with sublimation designs. All right guys, so let me tell you what I have here. This is the brand new Cricut Mug Press, all right? Super cool, I've already used it with infusible ink. I got really good results, but of course the real test for me is, can I use it for sublimation? So I have two cute little sublimation designs here, and I am going to use the Cricut mug. Now this is the 15 ounce mug. It's the larger of the two available from Cricut. You can use mugs other than the Cricut brand mugs, but you'll need to check the dimensions and make sure they're the right size because this mug press is specifically designed to fit the Cricut mugs. So you don't want to damage the press and you don't want to damage your mug by um, using one that is not sized correctly. So what I'm going to do, and I'll fast forward through this a little bit, but I'm going to take these designs and I'm going to secure them to my mug using some heat safe tape, all right? So what I do is I apply the tape to my design and then depending on, you know, this is a double-sided mug, but depending on how I want it to look will depend on where I put the design. Just try to get it as straight as possible. And then, especially for larger designs, I will tape it on the side also. Okay, so this is what one side looks like and I'll do the other side. Okay, so we have both sides completely taped in place. And then I did also cut down some butcher paper that should fit pretty nicely. I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around and then I will cut off the part that I don't need. Now, I'm gonna put that on with some heat safe tape too. Okay, so it's okay that it's taller. Just make sure that it's not um, any longer on the bottom, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna slide this right down into my Cricut Mug Press. And I want to put my handle towards the left side, all right? It's my right side, but it's your left side. And then I can simply close this down and the mug press is gonna do all the hard work for me. So the only thing to be careful of when you're putting your design on there is make sure that wherever you're placing it, all right, your design is going to be touching the heat plate on the inside. You do have a little bit of wiggle room that you can move your mug back and forth to position it correctly, but for the most part, you're just going to place it in there and then you have an indicator light along the top because this thing will already be, as long as you preheated it, it'll already be at the right time and temperature. So we're going to let this do its thing and then we will come back and check on it. All right guys, so it just beeped, which means that it's ready. Oh, it's insistent. And I grabbed these from the Dollar Tree and they're perfect for grabbing little handles like that. So what I wanna do is um, you can go ahead and let it cool if you want. I am an impatient crafter, so cooling is not in my nature. I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna use tweezers and start pulling off the tape and the butcher paper. Now you'll notice that you do get a little discoloration on your butcher paper, that's okay. So just try to make sure that you are removing the tape. Um, I try to peel from the part that is on top of my print instead of touching the mug itself because I don't want to damage the coating. So just be very careful when you're using a sharp instrument. All right guys, so I have my glazed and confused, and then I have my donut. So I'm very happy with how this turned out, and I'm happy to report that the Cricut Mug Press works great for sublimation too. 
So guys, how did you feel about our sublimation mug with the new Cricut mug press? Now, I think it turned out really good. I'm very ecstatic with the results. I am also doubly ecstatic to find a mug press in this price range that works really, really well. I have done um, three whole projects with it now, but so far it has not let me down. I think it's a very solid machine and I like that it is backed up by the Cricut name. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today, guys. But don't forget, if you have any questions, put those down there in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel because that helps us to keep bringing you these videos in the future. So thanks again for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.